god. Whole fucking aneurysm from this shit. Where the fuck is it? Oh my god, it's fake! The fuck is this? It's not showing!
Who are they? Waiting for one more person. Okay. Now we can get started. Swear you can pay. Person. They got feeling devils and fun. Uh, it's pretty sad attendance. All of this probably get blown up. see KJ. This dude claims he's here. This dude was claiming he was here. I don't see him. We can start. Home team is Clemson. I'm trusting Dylan to pick him on the other side. I'm gonna go with their head coach, who is here. Now he says he's on pin seat. Right. Oh my god! We have to restart.
we have to restart it. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't work time to wait for a little bit. I'm trying not to glitch it. I'm not sure if they fixed the glitch or not. It's not fine, we have to restart. Because we're not playing with them as the Rams. This dude is dumb. Never mind. It still works. Ah, oh, I got him. They fixed the glitch. Thank God. They actually fixed something. We're going to make that Jeff the Gamer. This man can't even pick the right team, so I mean, he can't be complaining out here. Are we finally gonna get things going? Oh, my volume's off. Scripted Zach? It, what team is he on? Don't believe he was in the itinerary. Oh my god, this idiot doesn't even know what game we're in, he doesn't even know the name of the Roblox game, who signs, how did he get in this league, if he doesn't even know the name of the Roblox game that we're in, I don't know, but here we go, we're getting things underway. And here we go. We are now getting started with this game here. Hopefully that box doesn't stay there. Or else we're literally going to have to rejoin. And if we do, I'm going to be major pissed. And of course the game is glitched. This game is so bad. I question why I use this. The developers, how do you let this happen? How do you let this happen if you're a developer of this game? How dumb are you? How dumb are you? We need a new freaking server. This is, this is honestly just annoying. There's stuff on the middle of the field. How do you live with yourself making a game like this? 
That's all I want to know for the creators of this game. Honestly, it's just annoying having to do this so much for this game. The developers of this thing are so bad. And you wonder why they deny people like me from developing. Yeah, that's why. Because they want their... Apparently, they want their league to just be trash. They want their game to be trash. They don't want, like, things to work. They want so much glitches. They don't care about glitches anymore. They just care about adding new cleats and stuff. Like, no one cares about how our avatar looks. There's plenty of stuff in here. I actually want to have some gameplay. Gosh. Quite annoying. Well, everyone's gonna rejoin. This one should get started much faster. This time, hopefully, it's not glitched. This all happened because JJ Ops decided to be a little dumbo and not pick the right team. He didn't even pick a single dang college team. He got the whole entire league incorrect. I'm sorry for all the viewers of this horrible game you are watching on this horrible platform of called U Football Universe. Where literally all they care about is adding new items into the game. They don't even care about gameplay. It's pretty dumb. They may as well just call it, um, gather coins and buy cool football items instead of calling it football universe. Okay, it's not even a football game really at this point. But hey, sick, I guess. Now let's take another take at this. Can we finally get the game going? Everyone's logging in. I say this is enough to get started. Well, definitely now, now. Oh, there's Corey, a 50 overall 911 call a doctor. We know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue and get this thing started. Thielen, home team, away team, Jeff. Penn State has to wear white unis. This idiot called me an idiot for telling him to wear his aways when he's away. Gosh, people in the sleep think they know everything. So we're looking at 6v6. Now we're actually going to get started.
welcome to Clemson, South Carolina. We're about to get this game underway. Should be a great one to watch here as we're doing the coin toss. Apparently, not referee myself. Here. This should be a great one. And here we go. Hiking the ball. All day to look around. Pass down under, caught by Coop. Snaps the ball. Jeff searching the field. Throws it the opposite way and it's intercepted by Devil's Fox. On the second play of the game, he has room to run. He's still going. And he's tackled at the 25. Jeff on his first career drive in YCFL has thrown an int to Devil's Fox who reads that ball perfectly and he's currently blaming it on leg but that is just a bad throw decision and no excuses there and a bad start for Penn State here comes Clemson Scanning the field, still scanning the field, still scanning the field. And he's gonna run with it. Throw is over and incomplete. Third and six now for Clemson. What is going on? What the heck? Anyways, KJ Love still has all day in the. It's five on five, but they're choosing to have more coverage. Caught by the Devil's Fox for a touchdown. Clemson, they have the lead early. Clemson strikes first. The underdogs have the lead here. We'll see how long this lasts, though.
They're gonna snap it. Intercepted again. Another int. And it's thrown up and it's caught by scripted. Oh my god, there's six now. Okay. Here we go. Jeff has two wins already on the day. KJ has a touchdown already on the day. Oh my god. Don't know what to Okay, he's gonna snap the ball. KJ scanning the field. He has a little bump, maybe. No, he does not. Third and 13. Might be two down territory here at the goal line. Here we go. KJ's gonna snap the ball. Searching the whole field. Throws it up for scripted. Incomplete fourth down. Fourth down. KJ's gonna snap it. He's gonna look around. He's trying to get a touchdown here. And it's intercepted in the end zone by the Coop dude. A big interception right there. A turnover right in the goal line. That makes things big. I said do not hike, but okay. There you go, okay. Well, anyways, here we go now. Red flame looking in the field. Throwing it. Deep, incomplete. And a new, new quarterback over there. Oh my god! Okay. Jeff has all day to run if he wants, and he will take the running room. For a first down. He's going to have more room to run still. He can get out to the 50 if he makes a move. And he does. Out at around the 48 yard line. 46 yard line. Where they're going to mark him. Here they go. Jeff snaps the ball. 
He's got man open on a burn down the field. Intercepted by Scripton Zach. Third into the quarter for Clemson. Third into of the quarter. Jeff was saying he was a Heisman candidate. And he's looking like a candidate for worst player of the year. If he plays every game. And Penn State is having arguments already. Eight and nothing. No points yet. For the number one ranked Penn State. Not looking good for the Penn State Nittany Lions. KJ. Has all time in the pocket. He can run for a lot here if he decides to. He's going to throw it up though. Back of the end zone. Overthrow and scripted. Sets up second and ten. Snaps the ball. He's going to run with it. He makes JJ miss. And he should have a first down. He will. A gain of 11. They now have it at the 46 yard line of Penn State territory. They're driving again. KJ rolling out. He's got 911. No, he doesn't. He's going to look deep again. A deep pass to scripted. Intercepted in the end zone by the Coop dude again. His second end of the game. Keeping them in this game right now. Fifth interception of the game for both sides. Jeff throws it and it's incomplete. Looks like Jeff was lagging a little bit there. But also could have been caught. Very risky throw though. Jeff's going to roll out. He has all room to run. He should take that room. Nope, he's going to throw it. And it's caught by Red Flame. A high contested catch in the double count coverage. That was indeed a wide receiver save right there. That could have been inted and should have been inted. Jeff can run. He chooses not to. Throws it to Coop. And a horrible throw to Coop. Had him on an easy slant. Jeff snaps the ball. Scanning the whole field. He can run. He hasn't run yet, surprisingly enough. He's going to throw it. Caught by JJJ Ops. First down play right there. Jeff has just as much completions as interceptions right now. 3 for 8. He's going to snap the ball. Is he going to go for JJ into the end zone? No, he's going to run it himself. He's got a blocker and Makes a man miss. Touchdown! Jeff the Gamer has just ran for a 21 yard touchdown run. And it's now 8 to 6, and they're gonna go for the 2 point to, con to tie it, I would assume. Makes a good move there. JJ blocks, and then he dives to the pylon and gets there first. And 911 is all up in his face, and he's all up in 911's face afterward and just with five seconds to spare in the quarter Penn State has their first score but they're still getting dominated by Clemson Red Flame is in the quarterback for this one what is he doing he can run that in he can hit Z hop he can hit the coop dude who's wide open and he misses it two point failed coop could not pull in the catch Oh my goodness, Clemson holds on to the lead here, but only by two. Nothing to brag about. Z-Hop with the kick. Touchback. KJ. Throw deep downfield to scripted. It's caught on a burn. A dime to scripted. And they have. And they are in the red zone once again. Set up beautifully. Once again, they're getting close to that end zone. To end that'll end the first quarter as well. Eight to six. A great game we're having here. 
so much for the blowout talk. It is a close, close, close game. It's 8-6. Here they go. KJ. Look in the field. He can run with it. He will run with it. Makes a man miss into the end zone. Touchdown, KJ. He has a running touchdown of his own now. Right after Jeff ran a touchdown in to start off the second quarter, KJ runs it in on two plays. Clemson goes a total of 75 yards into the end zone for the touchdown. And they... Once again, we'll have a one-score lead here. He was not tackled at the one. He's in for the touchdown. And here we go. They're going for the two-point. This will give them a big lead here. And here we go. He can just run it in, probably. Oh, he's going to toss it up. And it's caught by Devil's Fox. 16 points for Clemson here early in the second quarter the number eight ranked team is dominating the number one ranked team this is insane unexpected play here from clemson if you're penn state you got to realize that you're still in this game after getting dominated so much he has saucy gee with a catch and a run scripted misses his tackle he's mixing people out to the 45 yard line, 46 yard line, and they're quickly in Clemson territory. He now has the ball, scanning the field. He has Z hop on a burn. Will he hit him up? He has Coop wide open, and that's who he hits. Coop to the 30, the 25, makes two men miss. He fumbled it, and it's recovered by Penn State. Nearly. Lost a football there. J.J. Ops with a good recovery there. Quickly jumped into that ball as it was on the ground for anyone. Throws it up. Caught by Coop Dude for the touchdown. A quick score for Penn State. And quickly in one minute of play here in the second quarter, we have two touchdowns. And Penn State could be tied right now, but they missed their last two-point conversion, so... It's impossible to tie it right now. If they're just looking to get a two-point conversion here and make it a two-score game. I mean, two-point game. Very good game we're getting here to start off this Saturday day of games. Jeff rolling out. Is he going to run for it? He's going to pass it incomplete. Another two-point failed. Just like that, 16-12 is the score. They're down by four instead of two. So these two-point misses could be costly. Penn State's not going to kick it off. Touchback. Here comes KJ and the Clemson Tigers. JJ Ops on the chase. He throws it across the middle. Incomplete to Devil's Fox. Missed an easy throw there. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna run it? No, he's not. He's got bump on the short. And it's overthrown. Third down. Snap the ball. He's got one on two over there. Nope, they're all covered. He has bump on the short route. He throws it. Caught by bump at the. Gain of 23 to the 48. He's gonna snap the ball. They're going a bit quick here. Fast paced offense right now. Oh, and he's gonna run it himself. And a big gain there of 15 yards, 18 yards, officially at the 34-yard line. They're driving on them again. 
He's gonna throw it up to scripted. Can he hit it? No, just out of the reach. Nearly hit him on a dime. Coop is getting burnt over there. He has one on two over there. Mismatch. Plump's gonna grab it. And he's gonna weave around. A good gain there. Uh, they're at the 14 yard line in the red zone. Trying to punch it into the end zone though. Can they do it? He's gonna throw it up to Saucy. I mean, scripted. Touchdown! Clemson! The Coop dude could not get there. Very soft coverage. He gets burnt right away. See how it happens there. Coop just gets burnt right off the bat. And a great throw to the pylon. Good toes there. Kind of a weird catch. But he makes the play nevertheless. They're up by 10 points now. 22 to 12. They need to get a stop on a two point. Sometime here. Throws it the other way. And well, it's not this time. Because they get another two point. Clemson. Dominating. 24 to 12. Right now. This could be the biggest upset so far. Number 8 seed showing off here. In this first half. But there's plenty of game to go. Jeff has been getting better so far. Less interceptions. The defenses were strong to start. But now they're weakening. Jeff is rolling out. He can run and he will run. Trying to get to the first down. Could not. Second and three at the 32. Jeff needs three yards here. He might just run for it. He sees wide open running room. He's probably going to take it. He hasn't yet. He has a wide, wide open running room. Don't know why he's not taking it. He decides to throw it up deep. Overthrows Coop. He could have had a lot of running room there. JJ Off's not happy. He's got red wide open. He's waiting. Why is he waiting? He makes the catch though. He has blockers. He is off to the races to the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown Penn State. Oh, he does not go in. Wait, was there truck? Yep, he trucked. Okay. Jeff rolling out. Scanning the field. Misses Z Hop on a short pass play. Scanning the field. He has Saucy on a burn. And he misses Coop Dude. Not throwing good passes here. Throwing them all over the head. Not throwing any chest passes on those easy slants that you're supposed to be throwing chest passes on. You don't want to be throwing slants where they have to jump for it. He's going to try and get the first, and he does dive in his way there. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Snaps the ball. He's got blockers. JJ Ops probably going to run it. He's going to... A pretty good game there. Seven yard gain. They have it at the 25. Trying to punch it into the end zone here. What they want to do. 
Searching, searching. He has two rushes on him. Should be able to find someone. But Saucy is not moving. And he throws it to the end zone. Incomplete. No one could grab it. Third and three. He's just going to run for the first. And knee it. Smart play there. Very smart play. I'm a fan of that. He got a new set of downs. No pressure anymore. And Z Hop with the catch touchdown. Penn State. Their third touchdown of the game. They now have 18 points, hoping to move that to 20. But the big difference here has been the two point conversions. They both had the same amount of touchdowns. But Clemson has made all their two point conversions, Penn State has made none so far. They have to make this one. Penn State needs to get the two-point conversion here. Can they do it? He snaps it. Trying to make some moves. He doesn't know what to do. He's got to throw it now, probably. Intercepted by Thielen. He's going to run with it. He's going to get two points. They're going to get two points out of this. And they're going to take a six-point lead. He is still running, but no one's going to catch him. Oh, pick six on the two point for Thielen. And just like that, 26 to 18, Penn State is losing by a whole touchdown now because of their two point conversions. They are not making their two point conversions. Jeff is doing horrible on lead passes. Overall, Jeff isn't doing too good. Arguing going on over there on the Penn State side. They need a turnover here, and they need to score before the end of the half if they want to be in good position here. Remember, Clemson gets ball to start the second half. So you cannot let them go down and score on you, and then score again the next drive. You'd be three scores behind at that point. JJ is rushing. Under a minute now. Is KJ going to throw it up for a deep pass? He might. He might throw it underneath to 911. He's going to throw it deep. Can Coop come up with a big end here? Scripted with the catch touchdown, Clemson. He just throws it up. And Scripted makes the catch over Coop, dude. And just like that, Clemson has a two-score lead. And there's 45 seconds left in the half. The number one ranked team might not be number one ranked anymore. Going into Clemson is never easy. And Penn State now realizes that. There's already talk of Jeff being released after this game. There's some shoving going around. He's going to throw it to Devils probably. And they make another two points. 34 to 18. Penn State needs to score here if they want to be a contender in this game. And that one's... We've hit the one minute warning here. In Clemson. He's going to throw it up deep. Can Z Hop make the catch? No, it's intercepted by scripted Zach's play. And there's big arguing going over there on Penn State. It's not going well for them. 
Their team is not having a good relationship here. They're just arguing about every single thing. And he's going to throw it. Caught by Fump. He needs to get out of bounds quickly. He's going to stay in bounds. Seven seconds left. Timeout is called. They have five seconds for a Hail Mary here. Before the end of the half. They could, they could get 40 points at half. Going in the shotgun. All his wide receivers going out for a pass. He's waiting. Probably going to throw it up to scripted. No, he throws it up to the left side. And it's caught in the end zone by the Devil Fox. They catch the Hail Mary at the half. 40 to 18. Clemson is stomping on them now. Nothing is stopping them. Absolutely nothing is going to stop them. They are going on. He snaps the ball. He's looking. He's looking. And it's their first missed two point of the game. But it doesn't matter because they gained one earlier anyways. We're at the half. Okay, here we go. Second half is about to get underway here. Clemson with the kick. Touchback. Here we go. Jeff is uh, sitting out for some reason. He throws it up to Devils. Incomplete. Overthrown. Clemson trying to take a big lead here. Penn State can move to the very bottom of the power rankings here. I mean, they're playing worse than Oregon right now. Actually, not quite. It was 46 Oregon in that one. But currently, Penn State's doing horrible. It was looking like it was going to be a close game, and then Penn State just lost it all. Throwing many interceptions. Way too many. KJ rolling out. On the run. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. He's still on his feet. Here he goes. He's all the way to the 50 about... Taking his time, cutting it in. Still on his feet. He cannot be tackled. He's still on his feet. No one's going to catch him. It's a touchdown for Clemson. He runs it all the way in. What a touchdown run. KJ. Makes a man miss there. Another man miss. Men are missing everywhere. He then cuts it across the field once he reaches the 50 here. Looks like he's going to get tackled. No, he cuts in. Then he just follows the sideline. That man misses. And he just walks it into the end zone from there. Blockers blocking for him. A greatly designed play. And good blocking. Good teamwork there from Clemson. Clemson is looking dominant right now. And they're looking like a top four team. So here we go. Here comes the two point conversion. 
46 to 18 the current score. They're going for the PAT. The kick is up and it's good. 40. 7. 18. What a blowout. This is a game that had a great start. But now it's turning into a blowout. Penn State needs to give it a great ending here and fight for a comeback here. No. Jeff is the quarterback once again. Snapping the ball. What's he gonna do? He's got some running room. He's got Z-Hop deep. He has JJ right there on that play. And he misses him! A bad pass! A horrible pass there from Jeff. And he quick hikes. And did not want to do that there. Second and 15. Is he going to hit up Red Flame? No, 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 no. He won't. And he throws a contested pass intercepted by the Devil's Fox. He's returning it. He's going to return it all the way. He's going to have a Clemson touchdown. A pick six for the Devil's Fox. A great play there. 53-18. The fans here are getting rowdy. They are going crazy. They're watching their number eight ranked team go insane and Jeff has just left Jeff has left do they forfeit do they forfeit this is crazy a forfeit will put them at the bottom of the power rankings no they do not forfeit it's a 4 V whatever they have Zay is on the away team. Okay. Penn State needs to step it up. They need to find a quarterback they can rely on. And that's a quick hike. They can't keep quick hiking out here. Big mistakes. They have way too much quick hikes. Penn State was not ready for this game. Everything needed to be an easy win. They probably didn't practice at all. And now they're getting destroyed. He throws it up to JJ. Incomplete. Overthrown. Here they go. He's going to snap the ball. He's got pressure, no blockers. Throws it to Ziob, overthrown. Also an early jump. Third down and 15. Not looking good. He's gonna roll back. He's looking for a man. He's gotta throw it, he's gotta throw it. He's gotta toss it up there to JJ. Who makes the catch? And he trucks. We're going to give him that first down anyways. He would have had the first down. Another quick hike. Not good for Penn State. Way too much quick hikes. No patience on the offensive side. He's going to scan the field. He trusts JJ. And JJ makes the catch. First down gain at the 49 yard line there in Clemson territory. Another quick hike. 
They are quick hiking like crazy out here. That's when you know the quarterback is in a funk. He's feeling pressured out here. He can run. Why is he not running is my question. Just run. You have so much open space. Instead he throws it over to Saucy Z incomplete. He had at least 20 yards of running there. Very indecisive quarterback. Not making smart decisions. Penn State needs to be on the lookout for a new quarterback. Jeff is definitely not it either. Way too much ins. He has Zay on a burn. Does he trust him? Doesn't trust JJ on a wide open slant. He can run. He can run, but he's not. He throws it deep to Saucy. Caught. Touchdown, Penn State. That is Red Flames' first touchdown as quarterback of Penn State. So they're getting some points here. They can still make this game interesting. Don't rule them out. Their defense just needs to step up a lot. Because KJ is absolutely dominating, rocking their defense all around. Their defense is getting toyed with, essentially. They can send anyone they want deep. He'll throw it up. They'll catch it. The defense needs a lot of work. Even if they do win this, they're definitely not going to remain as a number one seed. They're definitely not number one ranked, seeing how they have been doing so far, even if they do somehow make an insane comeback and win. So they're going for the PAT. Here comes the kick from Z Hopper. He is. Go he didn't even run to kick it. It gets blocked. So here we go. Gonna kick it off. 24 points for Penn State. And that thing's through the uprights. Touchback. Can their defense do something? We'll find out right here. Their defense needs to do something. Thrown. Caught by scripted Zach. First down. Big play to get started. There he got it at the 46 yard line. He's looking all around. They got safeties everywhere. Making sure they don't burn. He's going to run with it. Wide open running room to the 30, to the 35, cutting it in, out at the 20 yard line. They're in the red zone once again. This defense is not putting any pressure on him. Now Zhop is. They do a quick throw, caught, first and goal at the 6. Here they do. Looking around. A little pump over there. They're going to hand it off to Scripted. And he's tackled by Zay Young. At the two yard line. Touchdown. Clemson gets it in. 61-24. Jeff has returned now. Sixty-two twenty-four. Here we go. It's a four on five currently. It's a squib kick, their first non-touchback of the game. Here comes Penn State with the return. He's got a good one. Out to the twenty-five. And tackle at the twenty-five. 
equal to a touchback. And they'll give him it at the 26. And... Um... Another quick hike. No patience from Red Flame. Quick hiking way too much. Slowing the game down a lot. Scanning the field. Does he have a man deep? Maybe. He can run. He's not, and he will run. Finally he runs. He's going to get a big gain. And he's got a blocker. Out past the 50. Gotta make sure to secure that ball so he doesn't fumble. He's going out to the 30 maybe. And he will reach the 30. Oh, still making men miss. Oh, he, he's got blockers. And he's tackled by the shoestring. A big run of 43 yards. And here we go. Penn State trying to score again. <laughs> Red. All day in the pocket. Throws it up. That's going to be intercepted. No, it's caught by Saucy. Touchdown, Penn State. 62 to 30. Third quarter almost over. Clemson fans already know that this game is, or they think it's over. And it's a pretty safe lead. You're up by uh, four scores. They're gonna need a big comeback here. It's gonna need to start with the defense making turnovers, and the offense not making any turnovers. The offense hasn't been making much turnovers lately, but they haven't done anything on defense to stop Clemson. He should just run that in. And he does. Oh, and I oop. That's a touchback. He hikes it. He's just going to run it. He's going to run for a big run. It would appear. First down. No, he did not. He's short. Inches short. Second and inches. He might just run it again. He throws it. Incomplete third down. You need to stop here. They might punt it if you stop it here. I do not know. It's going to be fourth quarter. Clemson needs to make a big play here. To get the first down. They got Fump wide open. Wide open. Fump. Does he throw it? No. He throws it to Devil's Fox who is wide open. Three people on two people over there. One person on two people over there. Defense is not adding up the numbers for man on man. And he's going to keep on his feet. Cut in. Cut back. Tackled. At around the 15. A big gain. A big run after the catch. Clemson going off. And it looks like Clemson is going to break the biggest point record. They just got to beat 66. A touchdown right here does it. Gives them the most points in a game. So far. And it's against the number one ranked Penn State Nittany Lions. But we still got two more games to go after this. We got Marathon. Throws it up. Incomplete. No one can catch it.
They're chasing KJ. Throws it up. Incomplete. Penn State stiffening here at the goal line. Third and ten. And he throws it up again. And complete. Fourth and fifteen. Snaps the ball. JJ on the chase. He's got scripted wide open. Misses him. It's a turnover. <clears throat> they finally get a turnover. Can they capitalize? He keeps quick hiking. Barely gets that one, not a quick hike. He's got some men open. He's got wide open running room. Here they go. He's going down the sideline. He's still on his feet. Red flame to the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. 40 points. They are starting a comeback here, and they need it a lot. It's now a three-score game. This is possible now, is what they're saying. What they need to do here is get a stop and then score under three minutes so they can then do the onside. Recover a few onsides, get a few touchdowns that way, and you're in this game. We could see a miraculous comeback here from the Nittany Lions. A great run there by Red Flame. Penn State sticking with it. They're doing good at just sticking with the game and saying, we're down by a lot, but we're still in it. And that's what they have to say. Because they are coming back into this game. They have a chance. They need to make another turnover, though. And... Jake? Caught? Wait, what's going on? I do not know. Um, that did not count. That was indeed a... a catch for the two point. I don't know what's going on. Score. He knows what to do, thankfully. Okay, here we go. Penn State needs to stiffen up on defense here. 
Here we go. KJ, will he run? No. He's going to roll back. He's going to hit Thielen. And he's got some more room. Breaking off on the sidelines. Still on his feet. Tackled eventually. And why does they keep joining? Who gave these kids codes? Here he rolls out. Looking for a pass. He's going to pass it. No, he's going to hold on to it still. Still looking, still searching. Rose it up. Caught by Funk in the end zone for the touchdown. Horrible defense there by Penn State allowing him to catch that. Take three scores, get the int there. Just go down, score a touchdown. You're down by two with an onside chance. But instead, they let him catch that. That's not good for the Lions. And I believe Jeff just left again. And we're going there. That quick hike is going to take away two points from Clemson. But Clemson now has the most points ever in a YCFL game and this is going to be combined for the most points in a YCFL game currently with over 108 points scored so far he's going to run with it he makes a man miss and he only ends up gaining 3 yards out of that 2nd and 7 Caught by the Coop dude. Down the sidelines. Tackle. H.U.O. called. Hurry up offense. They can now quick hike. He's way back in his own territory. Throwing it up. Intercepted by Fum. With two or three left. In the quarter. Just throws it in the one on two coverage. And overthrown.
and they're gonna intercept it right back. And it appears that Thump is gonna be leaving Penn State, no longer be their assistant head coach. He's gonna hike it. Red flame looking, searching, tossing up to the coop dude, maybe? I don't know. No one's catching that. This one's wrapping up here. Down by 28, they're gonna get a miracle to come back. He's gonna roll back into his own end zone, throws it up. Caught by the coop dude for the first down, gain of 17. Snaps the ball. Scanning the field. Will he throw it? I don't know. He's gonna run with it. KJ just has to make a tackle here. And he does. 45 seconds left in the game. We're at the one minute warning. Here they go. Thirty-seven, thirty-six seconds left, thirty-four seconds left. Clock is running. And he's gonna roll back deep, deep, tossing it up down the sideline. Intercepted. Two seconds left in the game. That'll do it. This one's gonna end. 68 for Clemson. 40 for Penn State. Penn State taking a major L. A big loss for Penn State. Jeffy was selling them at the beginning with three ends. All the quarterbacks were selling them, really. Clemson went off. 68-40 final. A big underdog win for Clemson. And a touchdown just to solidify it. Why not? This one is over. 74-40 final. Thank you guys for watching. This is Waffle signing off. Clemson has just beaten the number one opponent. Crazy. We'll see you guys later for Michigan versus Ole Miss.